Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over Wix.com. Wix.com, if you don't know, is a platform that allows you to create websites. You don't have to know how to create websites. You don't have to write a single line of code. All you have to do is click here, click there, and that's it. Your website is created. It's pretty easy, and I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to go step by step about creating your own website in literally minutes. Just as a quick reminder, there's a link in the description which you can click and follow with me step by step as I go with this tutorial. Okay, so once you're on your homepage, first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Get Started. So Wix.com is going to guide you through the process. Great, so first thing you have to do is create an account with Wix.com. If you already have an account, of course, you can just click Login and enter your email and password right here, email and password. If you don't have an account with Wix.com, then you'll have to sign up. And to sign up, you have two options, either use your Facebook credentials or Google credentials to automatically sign up, or you can use your email and create an account manually. This is what we're going to do in this case. And here I'm going to type in my email, my email again here, my password, and my password again here, and click sign up. After signing up, you will receive an email in your inbox. So check your email, there will be a link to confirm your email, click there and your account will be activated automatically. You don't have to do that right away, you can go with this tutorial and then confirm your email later if you want to. My email again and my password. That's it, click sign up. That's great, now my account is automatically created. So here you have two options. Skip this all these steps and go manually, do it manually, or you can be guided through step by step. This is what we're going to do for this tutorial. I'm going to click on Let's Do It. So as you can see, Wix is going to ask me a bunch of questions to give me the experience I want and automatically give me the content and guide me through the whole process very easily to get started with the exact thing that I want to get from this website. So it asks me here, I want to create a, a site for, so I'm going to click on myself here. You can say a client, a company work for, or someone else. So basically, I'm going to say myself for this tutorial. And it should be, well, here you're typing, uh, you specify actually the type of the uh, website you want to create. For example, business or online store, music, events, portfolio, fitness. There are a bunch of types here or other. We're going to go with this tutorial with a CV. I'm going to create a portfolio and a site and I have built sites professional, created many websites, built a few websites and never done this before. So in this tutorial I'm going to go with never done this before. I'm going to put myself in your shoes and I'm going to go with never done this before. And that's it. Now Wix ADR is a great editor that uses AI to automatically create content for you. So it tries to understand what you want and automatically gives you the content that you want. Or you can do it manually using their Wix Advanced Editor. So you have two options here, either choose a template and do it manually using Wix Editor or you can use their new Wix ADI to create a new website. This is what we're going to go through. It's far easier this way. I'm going to click on Start Now. So here it asks me, what type of site do you want to create? Of course, as we said earlier, we're going to create a portfolio website. So here you can type in the type of business you want to or whatever website you want to create. For this tutorial, we're going to go with portfolio, which is already shown here because we've already selected portfolio in the earlier questions. So I'm going to click portfolio. Of course, you can type in here wherever you want. For example, you can be even more specific about what type of portfolio. So for example, I'm going to type in a doctor portfolio. And as you can see, it automatically gives me this option. There are a lot of options here. As you can see, even what type of doctor you want to go with, for example, blood doctor, family doctor, heart doctor, stomach, there are all kinds of doctors here. So selecting a, a specific type will give you a different template, maybe different content, different images maybe to go to select from. So it's very personalized, very customizable. So I'm going to click on doctor portfolio. And here it asks me, what do you need on your new website? So what do you want to include in your new website? You want to include chat, you're going to include just a blog or videos maybe. You have more features here, which as you can see here, there are 
a little bit hidden because these are the main ones because it automatically says these are recommended because it knows that we're trying to create a portfolio website so basically we most likely are not gonna we're not gonna need uh, an online store or bookings or adding a forum or music stuff like that so we're gonna go with uh we're not going to select channel, we're going to select blog for this tutorial to keep it simple and video, we're not going to need that and I'm going to click on next. So add your name or your business name. So this is uh, a portfolio for a uh, doctor, for example. So I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to here, I'm going to type in the name of the doctor, for example, Dr. Uh, Foster, for example, and I click on next. To import content, copy and paste your links. If you already have a website, you can copy here to import your content, your images and text, etc. Or if you already have a business set up on Google Places, of course, you can type it in here to import contents from that place and from your website. If you don't, then just skip that and click next. Review and edit your info. As you can see here, it shows here my info. You can be even more specific in adding an address and phone and fact and adding your social account, maybe Facebook for a logo for your website. For example, I'm going to add a logo, just a sample logo maybe. So I'm going to go with the logo I have on my desktop and click here. Select this logo and click on open to upload it. Great, you can review like we said a name if you want to edit it, email, etc. I'm going to click on next for now. And finally, you can pick a theme you like. So here you can change uh, the theme, the, the main fonts, the main theme you're going to go with, the, the look and feel if you want. So as it says here, uh, these fonts and colors will be used to design your site. You can easily change them later, of course. We're going to go with uh, something like uh, sophisticated, maybe. So it says here is description, season, world, travel, no, luxury, dignified class, etc., evolution, horizon, sky high. Maybe you're going to go with breeze for now, okay? I'm going to click on continue. Create a palette. Okay, so I want to create a color palette. As you can see here, it automatically uh, scanned the logo and recommended these three colors to be used as the color palettes for our website. So I'm going to click on use these colors and proceed. Of course, you can change all of these settings later if you want to. As you can see here, you can easily change it later. You can change all of these settings, all everything we've typed here later in the options. And last but not least, it asks me to pick my favorite homepage design. So here I can choose a homepage design to go with. So for example, I uh, like, for example, this design. It has a title here, a menu, and the logo at the top, which is great. So I'm going to pick this one and customize it as I please. So I'm going to click on use this design and wait for it to create our website and load our features based on what we've selected. And finally, our website is set up. So the design of the editor is very intuitive. You don't have to read a single document to learn about it. You can get started without anyone explaining a single option for you. It's very intuitive. It's very easy to use. The new Wix editor uh, uses a lot of AI to try to, to get us exactly what we want based on the options and, and settings we set. And before I proceed, I would like to remind you that there's a link in the description if you want to click and follow with me as I go with the rest of the tutorial. So here, as you can see, there are a lot of parts to this website. There's page actually. So a website can have a lot of pages. So here we have like the header. This is just the main title with an image. These are a bunch of images like a gallery or something. And this is a contact me form. And these are a bunch of articles. And finally, the footer contains the uh, the social media links. You can edit any of these parts very easily. For example, you can add in, uh, I'm going to edit the menu here, for example, to add um, other links. So it's very easy. Just click on the menu. As you can see here, it says site menu. I'm going to click on site menu and click on edit pages or manage items. I'm clicking on manage items. And here, as you can see, it says home and block, which are the same links that I have on my menu I can add a new item by clicking here and here as you can see there are a lot of options you can link to a page in the same website to another web address etc so I'm gonna select page and here I'm going to, to try and select another page as you can see here I, I only have two pages here so I'm gonna click cancel I'm going to 
close this and I'm going to create a new page and finally add it to the menu. So we have the home uh, page and we have the blog page. I'm going to create a contact me page which is basically going to have uh, this menu not on the home page but in the contact me page just to keep the home page simple and short okay so it's very easy to do just click on add page and here it gives you types of pages you want to add for example you can add uh, an about page or a contact page which is what we're going to add and you are also adding uh, different types of pages or you can go with a blank one and build it as you want for example I'm gonna go with contact here and as you can see, it automatically gives me different options to go with. So these are sort of templates to use for the contact me page if you want to show a map or just a form. So we're going to go, for example, with uh, the three shown in the same page. For example, we're going to go with this one here. OK, so I'm going to click on add this page. And wait for it to set it up. It says here congrats keep going great no problem as you can see on the menu it automatically added the contact page I can of course edit that and uh, instead of contact I can for example say contact me and that is by renaming this column here so I click on rename button and click on contact us for example if you want to rename it or maybe reposition it or you can also reposition this uh, item for example, to show contact as then show block, you can change the menu as you want. And I'm going to close this and I'm going to customize my contact page. For example, I want to change this image. It's very easy. I'm going to just select this block by clicking on it. And in the image, as you can see here, I have the edit option, the design option, and here move to or delete. I'm going to click on edit and this is the uh, edit panel. So I have the select uh, the section design here. I can change the whole design of this section or I can just customize it here. As you can see, this is description. These are just the title. Get in touch. We can change that. For example, contact us now, for example, contact us now. And for the media, you can, of course, change in the, uh, the image. I'm going to click on edit and replace. And here I'm going to click on replace. You can add in your video if you want to. I'm going to click on replace here to change it all together. Great. As you can see here, this says welcome to your new media manager. This is uh, the media manager. You can. This is where you manage all your media. This is talking about images and videos, etc. So you can look up images from the internet from. Uh, several other websites, for example, Shutterstock and Unsplash, and just choose an, the image you want and add it. It's easy as that. For example, we're going to go with this image here. I'm going to click on it and apply it. It's really as easy as that. Great. Now the image is saved. I'm going to go back. And here, as you can see, you can add in other fields to the, to the form. Uh, you can add in email and address if you want to. So I'm going to close this. Uh, in here, I'm going to select this again and select the map. As you can see here, there is a pen here, so I can click on the map address. And here, I can uh, select the, the address that's going to be shown by default, for example, just as an example. As you can see here, this is this is the address going to be shown by default. Of course, you can change this to your address or the address of your business. So we're going to close this and we're going to preview our website. So I'm going to click on preview here. OK, so this is the content of our website. As you can see, I can go to the home page. So this is the home page. You can, of course, edit all of these images shown here. You can change everything on the home page or any page for that matter. So I'm going to, this is the contact us page. So I'm going to click on it and see the contact us page. See here, this is the image we added. This is the form. I can fill in the form and submit it. And this is the address that, of my business that's shown by default on the map. Once you're happy with the result, all you have to do is publish your website. And to publish your website, you have two options. Either use a free Wix.com domain, which is just a way to just share uh, the website with your friends. It shows ads on the page automatically and also Wix.com watermark. So it's not very professional if you want to use this as the business website for your uh, 
maybe cabinet or your or your business then I would highly recommend to connect your own customized domain or create your own domain by selecting this option and clicking on publish and continue so here you're presented with two options either create a new domain name if you don't already have one or you can connect for example if you have already purchased a domain name then you can connect it to wix.com if you don't have a domain name you can create a domain name here by clicking on this option and here are directed to uh, the Wix plans of course to do this you have to upgrade your account you can do it for free so here you're presented with the with their plans they have four plans for personal websites and three plans I guess for the business in e-commerce website if you maybe have a lot of visitors or you want to accept payments from your website we're going to go with for example website here so the least you can go with basically is the combo for personal use which is great it gives you two gigs of bandwidth and three gigs of storage which is great for personal websites so I'm going to click on select here and here I can select a plan I want to go with for example you can go with two years and paid in advance which as you can see here goes a little cheaper at uh, eight dollars for the 20 full months if you want to pay yearly as you can see there is a 50 cents that's added for the 12 months and if you want to pay monthly the price the monthly price is about 12 dollars you have to pay every month so the cheapest option as you can see is to pay two years in advance and go with select and the last thing you do is fill in your payment method and click on submit purchase if you've missed a step along the tutorial you can always go back and watch it again there's a link in the description where you can click and follow again from the start step by step so this concludes our tutorial i hope this has been informative for you and i thank you so much for viewing